Hey everyone, welcome back to episode four of this Blending Modes mini course. So in the first three episodes, we tackled the Luminosity Blend Mode, the Overlay Blend Mode, and Multiply. And just as a refresher, the Luminosity Blend Mode helps our colors out. So if we want to protect the color saturation and the natural look of our colors in our scene, if we're adding in tonal contrast or we're removing exposure, we can use the Luminosity Blend Mode to do that. The second blend mode we went over was Overlay, and Overlay incorporates contrast really quickly and easily into a scene. So if you want to add in some drama or some mood to a sky or a foreground, the Overlay Blend Mode is a great tool for that. And then we went over Multiply, and Multiply is categorized into the Darken Blend Modes. That means it's going to darken up your image. I like to use it with a little bit overexposed photos or photos where there's a lot of blown out areas, and that's going to help bring it back to a correct exposure. In episode four, we're going to be talking about a blend mode that's a little bit different from the previous ones, and that's the screen blend mode. And the screen blend mode is categorized into the lighten modes. And you guessed it, the screen blend mode is going to brighten up your image. One thing to keep in mind about the screen blend mode is that the brighter pixels are always going to remain, and that black is going to remain unchanged as well. So if you do have deep, dark, black contrast in your photograph and you want to brighten it, the screen blend mode isn't going to modify any pure blacks but you could always use it to brighten up underexposed photos and keep control of the highlights in your scene. So with the screen blend mode, let's head into On One Photo Raw and I'll show you how to use it. So now we're inside On One Photo Raw 2020 and if we take a look at our image here, I wouldn't say it's completely underexposed, but it's a little bit too dark. So what we can use to fix that is we can use our screen blend mode. But to demonstrate the screen blend mode, I'm gonna go into my tone and color first and I'm gonna pull down on my blacks while holding down my J key so I can see them. And I'm going to add in some true black into the shot. Right there. Because remember, with the screen blend mode, true black is going to be unchanged. So I really like this contrast over here in this tree, but I do want to brighten up the rest of the area. So let's use the screen blend mode to do that. I'm going to head into the Effects tab here. I'm going to add a filter, and we'll add the Curves filter. So with the screen blend mode, it's one of those blend modes where you don't have to have anything applied to a filter and it's still going to do its job. So if we go into the blending options here with this gear icon, and I go to my mode, keep, an, keep your eye on the photograph and I'll go down to screen. So now with the screen blend mode, if we turn this curves filter off and on, it's brightening up the scene and it's keeping all of these true blacks in here nice and dark so that we have that nice tonal contrast. So one thing that I like to do before I add in that screen is I just make sure I have my true blacks the way I want them because then when I add in the screen blend mode, I can protect those true blacks within my photograph. And with my tone curve or whatever adjustment I'm using with this screen blend mode, I can always modify the look. So if I want to pull back on the brightness a little bit, I can go down to my tone curve and I can pull back on the midtones and that'll bring back some of that darker mood from the original photo. If I want to brighten them, I could pull up on my midtones. So I can sit there and I could play with this tone curve to really fit whatever exposure look I'm going for in this scene, all while I'm protecting these true blacks. And since everything is non-destructive in Photo Raw, I can always go over to my Develop tab. I can remove those, and that will remove that harsh contrast over there. But I could always go back and I could add in a little bit to preserve the tonal contrast within my scene. So let's go back into effects. And I'll just pull back on the shadows a little bit so that they're not so bright. Maybe about there. So now if we go up and we turn this tone curve off and on, with just one curve, We've really gone in here and we've modified the exposure, we've brightened it up, and the scene looks a lot better. So let me show you it on one more photograph just to give you a better idea of the type of shots that you want to use the screen blend mode on. So with this photo, for example, if we take a look at the shot, it's a little bit underexposed. It's not incredibly underexposed. I would probably say it's perfectly underexposed. I really actually like underexposing my landscapes because then I have a lot more control of my highlights. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're going to use the screen blend mode to increase the exposure in this scene. But first, we're going to incorporate our contrast to set our white and black points. So inside of the Develop tab here, I'm going to go down to my blacks. I'm going to hold down my J key. And I'm just going to pull back on my blacks until I see 
a little bit of true black in my frame, probably about right there. That's about perfect. So now we have the contrast set in our scene, and we can use the screen blend mode to increase the brightness of the rest of it. So we'll go into the effects tab here. I'll add a filter, curves, and now keep an eye on the photograph. I'll go into my blending options, mode, and then we'll head down to screen. So already, if I turn this off and on, doing a really good job of just brightening up the photograph. And again, you can always apply this selectively to whatever scene you want to fit. So if I wanted to just pull out the tones in this foreground area, but I wanted to leave my sky nice and moody, I could apply this selectively with the masking bug again. So I'm just going to hit M on my keyboard. I'll make sure that I'm set to linear top. And then I'll drop this down. So now I can keep that really kind of underexposed, really detailed sky here. But I'm brightening up my foreground so that it's a lot more interesting and people can see all of the shadow details around it. And again, you can always go into your curves filter and you can modify you know, the adjustment to fit your scene. I might pull up on my midtones, highlight it a little bit. Perfect. So the screen blend mode is a great tool if you're looking to brighten up a photograph or fix an underexposed photo because it really gives you complete control of your highlights. And you can always set your black point first, and it will protect the true blacks in your shot. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more on one videos.